Okay, so today I'm in my workshop and I'm doing some repairs on Lewis's little Yamaha MJ5, the Lewis family from Bowen. So hello Frank and Cheryl. What I'm doing today is repairing flange cord or return loops or whatever you'd like to call them. So this is the flange and this screws onto the action itself. The hammer goes on there like that and I'll show you that in a minute. What we're doing now is we're just going to glue a piece of flange cord onto this flange. Show you how that's done and how the hammer assembly goes back together then. I hope this camera is focusing well. So, stick that little bit of flange cord in there like that on one side of the flange. Put it in a little jig. Do a merry jig, just like that. Pull it around. Make sure a little bit of cord is secure into the flange like that. So then, this flange goes onto the bottom of this hammer or the hammer butt like that. Slips in there via the little pin. And then we screw it up securely like so. Now I could have easily bought brand new flanges with the cord already attached to them from Yamaha, but I think that's a bit wasteful, being old school and all. So I don't know if you can see that, but these hammers are slightly dented. I'll just take that a little bit closer to the camera. Hopefully it'll focus. Hammers are slightly dented. And what that does is that produces a harsh tone because the felt gets quite compacted into the hammer itself. So what I do is I use my sandpaper batten and I just remove from the top layer of felt like that from underneath. Round it off a bit. See that hammer there is nice and even now there's no dents in it. I normally do that job um, outside because there's quite a bit of dust that goes on and um, during the job just to protect myself from that. Of course there's always one that I prepared earlier. So you see that's the flange and the core it's already dried and there's a little spring here place a spring over the flange cord like that and it allows the flange to move freely which without that the hammer return system doesn't work at all. So cool little fix going on here at Martin's Piano Tuning and Repairs. I've got probably another 15 of them left to do and then they'll all screw back onto the action and then I'll return them to Bowen next week. <laughs> 